Medical Notepad, brought to you by patient advocacy organizations, Take a Stand Against Amputation, and The Way to My Heart. Here is Dr. Anahita Duwa, vascular surgeon with Mass General Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. What is peripheral artery disease? Peripheral artery disease, I'm going to start off by saying is a misnomer, right? It's, it's kind of this label that we stuck on a very wide variety of disease processes and just said, oh, Peripheral means leg or arm, artery means artery, and disease means disease. I mean, if you think about it that way, it's like a billion things. If you get shot in the groin, technically, you have peripheral artery disease. But what it is, is you have a situation where you don't have enough of a pathway for blood to get from your heart to your toes. Really, the way to think about it is in categories. So peripheral artery disease really is in two giant buckets. Bucket number one is intermittent claudication, which is just a fancy way of saying you walk, you have pain in your legs, you stop, that pain goes away and you start walking again. So in the intermittent claudication phase, when you have a situation where you do not have wounds and you do not have what's called rest pain, where you're just sitting there in your chair, but your leg hurts a lot. So you're not in that category. That's bucket number two. That's critical limb ischemia. We're just talking about purely here, it hurts when you walk, whether it's five steps or a hundred steps, it hurts when you walk, that's the intermittent claudicin. That patient can really, really turn their life around by walking. With Medical Notepad, that was Anahita Duwa, vascular surgeon with Mass General Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts. Medical Notepad is a series for educational and informational purposes only. Advice offered is not a substitute for medical advice from your own supervising physician. Do not act on any information provided in this series without the explicit consent from your own healthcare team. For more information on peripheral artery disease, go to stand against amputation.com. For peripheral artery disease support, go to thewaytomyheart.org.